So we're here in San Francisco with HTC and they're probably best known for their phones and now the HTC Vive, which we're gonna take a look at. But the health industry is something that HTC is really taking a turn for. So Dan, why don't you go yeah. ahead and tell us a little bit more about this health box. Yeah, cool, thank you. So health box is a partnership between HTC and Under Armour. Um, you know, Under Armour obviously be known for, you know, some t-shirts and, and shoes and doing a great job in that space. Um, but They've got this saying, hey, you know more about your car you know, when you take it to the shop than you do about your own body when you go to the doctor. Yeah. So let's get some tech in here and start figuring this stuff out. So the health box is a, a, a kit that comes with three different pieces. The first being the smart scale. Sure. Um, smart scale not only measures your weight, but also BMI, um, and then communicates that information into the Under Armour Record app, which is a hub that tracks all the pieces in the kit and gives you a complete picture of sort of your health and fitness. Um, nice thing is, is uh, um, this will actually automatically recognize up to eight different users in the house. So anybody can use the scale and, uh, and, and track their information into their own app. Does that mean each user has to have their own phone or can you share a profile on a single phone? You wouldn't have to have your own phone. Okay. Um, but traditionally you would sync it to your own device and you sure. keep that information there. Um, the second piece is the band. Uh, wearable, obviously, the uh, powered on. It's touch screen, so you can talk between information. And this tracks, you know, sleep, if you will. Uh, it also tracks uh, your steps throughout the day, and then has a passive heart rate monitor, so it gives you some idea of, you know, a light version of your heart rate throughout the day. What about like um, oxygen intake or like a barometer or anything? No, no, not oxygen? yet. Not okay. Yet. Maybe later. I don't know. No, in regards to the touchscreen, what other things can it show? Like basic notifications or just yeah, health related? Yeah, basic notifications, time, steps, things like that. You can also advance your music if you're listening to music okay. on your phone with your headphones. You can advance your music right on your wrist. And but not like, like text messages or n not yet as it seems. Uh, there's some uh, limited messaging functionality. But oh, not, there is. Yeah, you okay. couldn't like write a message or anything. Okay. And then the third piece, obviously the fitness folks will know the most I I accurate piece is the heart rate monitor. And that's where you really want to... That's your most accurate way to track heart rate, whether you're going in and out of aerobic uh, exercising or um, you know you want to check and see how long it takes your heart rate to come down from, from a certain level. So all three of these together work to really complete that picture. And they work with the Under Armour Record app to keep all that information in one place, right? So you've got a really nice uh, a picture of you know how you're doing and how you feel and, and all this great stuff together. So I'm a, I'm a pseudo health nut myself. Cool. And I, okay, bl I, I blame my wife um, okay. graciously. One thing I've learned, uh, especially using apps like MyFitnessPal, yeah. things like that, having extra accessories to kind of track that, like um, Fitbit or Microsoft Band or, or this, can all be very useful, but it doesn't necessarily tell you what to do in the next steps. Like you have to go and either do your own research or, or, or you just know what to figure out. Does does the application, the hub, at least guide the user, okay, this is your BMI or this is your weight, this is your goal, this is what you should do or anything to that nature? Uh, that, well, it's interesting you said. In fact, actually, um, MyFitnessPal is actually integrated into the Under Armour Record app to okay. help you track uh, uh, some of those things. There's some challenges and things you can do through the application. In general, you know, it's not necessarily coaching you to the next level. The nice thing about Under Armour Record is it takes all those things and brings them in one spot. So if you were using some of those apps to help challenge yourself, um, this would be the sort of the spot that you could track the the, the data behind uh, that those other apps. Again, okay. like MyFitnessPal is integrated into Under Armour Record, things like that. With Fitbit, there's like different sizes and whatnot. Is there different sizes for this or yeah. is, it, is mm -hmm. it just the different? So, so there's, uh, it comes as it is, there's actually a second half of, if you want to make it a little bit uh, smaller in, oh, okay. in the box there. And then your charger's in there as well. What's the battery life on something like that? It can get a couple, of two to three or four days out of it, depending on uh, how much you use it. Yeah, it's pretty good. Yeah. Um, we've actually had pretty good feedback on the battery. Okay. Um, but multiple days for sure. And then obviously in your household, if you've got, you know, um, one kit, you know, perhaps that's all the scale you need. But a couple other users might want their own wristbands. So we do actually sell the band separately if you wanted to. Oh, that makes sense. A couple other people can pick up bands and sure. use the same scale together. Where would somebody find these? Nick's Sporting Goods is a place you could find it. Under Armour has their own stores, their okay. flagship stores that you can find it in there. And obviously you can find it online. And, sure. And coming to more places uh, uh, in the near future too. How much is it? Give it to uh, The kit itself is uh, $400. Okay. Yep. And uh, the band itself? Around 180 Okay, yeah. that's actually very comparable yeah, to, yeah. to the good. other things I've seen. Yeah.
Well, so that's yeah, awesome. That's the Under Armour Health Box. One big thing that Apple's come up against is um, FDA approval of mm -hmm. certain things. Are you guys going to have to deal with any of that, or are you not really marketing it toward this is what you take to your doctor? Correct. Okay. Yeah, yeah. All right. Not at this point. Okay. Yeah, right on. Great. Huge thanks to Dan for doing that interview. One thing I was thinking about after I checked out the health box was something that is pretty apparent and it's somewhat obvious, but I, I feel like I need to say it. All these tools, as cheap or as expensive as they are, they're only as good as you make them. There's so many people out there that are gonna buy something like the health box and think it's just gonna work. Like I said in the interview, there's so many things that we have used in the past to track your calories, to track your steps, and you say, oh, I hit 10,000 steps. So what? What does that mean? And so, what I feel like I would like to see in the health industry, in the fitness industry specifically, are some better tools to better guide people that aren't really very good at figuring out what those next steps might be. Maybe they don't have a personal trainer. Maybe they don't have fitness friends. Maybe they are the type of person where they get lost when they see all the numbers crunched and they see that's my macros and that's this and this is that and I don't know what to make of it. So that I know is very, very difficult, but with all the data that we are getting from everyday people from all walks of life, from my fitness pal or from Fitbit or from even all the doctors that are out there and some sort of alliance, they could get all this info get some sort of telemetry, some sort of algorithm that could possibly not put everybody into a little box, but give them guidance. So that's one thing I feel like without even trying out the health box, without even trying the health application itself, I'm sure it in its own right, it is very good and very successful at tracking all the health data that's coming through all the different sensors. I get that and I'm sure the technology is there but I feel technology can only go so far as it stands right now. Hopefully later on we'll get a little bit better, but for what we have now, whether you go with Fitbit or Microsoft Band or with HealthBox, make sure you know that these are just tools and they're not gonna solve the issues or problems or even guide you as closely as you might want it. So that's it for me right now. We have another video coming up very, very soon. We've got the HTC Vive and I show off how crazy I look. And, and what I saw, you know what? You've gotta wait for the video. And also, the HTC 10. You guys take care. We'll see you in the next one. Make sure you follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Google+. If you have any questions or comments, leave that in the section below. And we will talk to you guys in the next one. Late.